everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Sephora Unboxing! If you guys did not know, which I hope you know, Sephora, like the Sephora, Sephora Cosmetics Store has a subscription service. It's $10 a month and you get deluxe size samples of products that are sold at Sephora. So it's a fairly recent subscription service. This is June's box. They ship around the middle end of the month and I don't get to like post the unboxing until the next month, but this is June's box. So not available anymore, but definitely subscribe if you're a sub Sephora, I was gonna say Subsora fan. Um, I will link it down below for you, 10 bucks a month. You cannot beat that. So I haven't peaked yet, but I did get a text from my sister and she goes, this month's box is a good one. So we're gonna see, sis, we're gonna see. So it comes in a little bag like this. Look at how cute it is. There's lips and a little popsicle, hashtag Sephora play. And then you also get this little pamphlet right here that has a card if you bring it into Sephora. They will tell you more about the products and you can redeem it for 50 points. Their point service is, it's, it's all right, but 50 points is good. And then it tells you all about the products inside. So I'm not going to peek because I want to be surprised. <sighs> Let's get started. Please don't judge my hair, by the way. I have a hair appointment in two days and I just, I'm over it. <laughs> okay, here's what it looks like. There's lots of stuff in here. So first thing, this is big. This is Oi. O-U-A-I hair care, oi, I think is how you say it, uh, wave spray. So I feel like I have so many like sea salt sprays, but I guess you could never have enough. I wish I lived in like a beachy climate where I could use them more. So weightless texture mist for effortlessly chic undone hair. Well, or you can just not brush your hair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see, sodium chloride free. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh, it smells really good. Oh, it smells really good. I'm gonna spray it in my hair anyways. It doesn't have like that quintessential like sea salt spray, like scent. It has like a really fresh fragrance. Oh, I love that. I really, really like that. All right, pick it into the goodie bag to see what's next. Oh, I'm so bummed about it. I actually have bought the full size version of this and I just threw it away. Like I didn't even want to save it for products I regret buying. I just threw it away. It sat in my like little box up there for probably like almost a year and I never used it. I did a video all about this. This by the way is the Beauty Blender Blotterazzi. Um, I'll link my video down below. It's an old, old video so please be nice. But um, this is supposed to be like Beauty Blender's version of a blotting powder or paper um, and it's supposed to be like a, a reusable sponge that you can use to blot your oil. It looks like a slice of a beauty blender. I love beauty blender products. I hate this product you guys. I feel like it doesn't work at all and it's really expensive for like what it is. It's nice that you get it in this box because the box is $10 so this alone is probably worth right around $10. Um, so I'm actually going to save this. I might toss this in with my 10K giveaway. Just because I don't like it, that doesn't mean you guys won't like it, but I feel like in my video, if I remember correctly, I was like, this is a great product. And then as I used it more and more, I was like, this is a terrible product. It doesn't do anything. I much prefer normal blotting papers, but it's really nice that they throw this in here if you haven't tried it before, like, so you can try it. All right, digging into the bag of goodies. Okay, this is not in here. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay, is this it? I don't know if this is, oh it is. Nest, Nest, yeah, here it is. Okay, this is Nest Fragrances Eau de Parfum in the citrine smell. I feel like this is gonna be very citrusy based on the name. Uh, you know what? This smells a little bit like the, what is it? Light blue, is it Dolce? Dolce and Gabbana light blue? I feel like I'm getting that vibe from it where it's kind of like androgynous, like masculine and feminine. It smells really good actually. There's like a little bit of like floral, like citrusiness to it too. Not bad. I actually like that a lot. Next product in the goodie bag. 
Ooh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. You guys know how much of a fan I am of the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. The regular Chocolate Soleil I feel like is a tiny bit too dark for me because, hello, I am the color of my Alex Nine drawers back here, which is white. Um, I am so fair and this is the darkest I get. This is summertime and I actually have a little bit of a tan. You can look at my tan lines. Look at that. Ah, I actually have a little bit of a tan right now and I'm still super pale. So I feel like the Milk Chocolate Soleil is a little bit better for me. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to toss this in with my 10k giveaway. But this is a great product. It smells like chocolate and I really, really do like it a lot. Looks like there's two more products in here. So the next product is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Pore Minimizing. I like this product a lot. I've tried it, I've gone through a whole full size bottle of it before. It is a pore filling primer that you put on before your foundation. It's very similar to the uh, Benefit Professional or the new Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I haven't used this in a really, really, really long time, so I, I I've decided that I like the Makeup Forever one better than the Benefit one, which is crazy because the Benefit one used to be a holy grail item for me, but I don't know comparing it to this anymore. I don't know which one I like better, so I'll be anxious to test it out, but this is a really good product if you have like big pores and you want to like fill in your pores. I remember really liking this. Last product in here, oh, one of my favorite brands, you guys, First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. I have the facial mask version of this, the red clay mask, like the peel off mask, which I really, really like. I think I talked about it in a favorites video before, but I've never tried the cleanser. So this says, um, removes excess oils, unclogs pores, and purifies. Safe for sensitive skin. I love First Aid Beauty products. Like they are quickly becoming one of my favorite skincare lines. So I'm really excited to try this out. This is like a really good size sample. It's one ounce, so you can travel with it. It's good for like multiple uses. I feel like this will probably last, I don't know, at least a week, maybe two weeks, because you only need a tiny little bit of facial cleanser. All right guys, well that is the June Sephora Play Box. Um, if you want to check it out, I'll link all the products and how you can subscribe down below in my subscription box. Uh, I mean my description box, not my subscription box. Ah, I'm all tongue-tied. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!